People expect you to be the perfect mom. I am a human and I'm not perfect. everyone and welcome to episode 7. I am your host Alanized and this is Noche de Pendejadas. If you don't know what Noche de Pendejadas is by now, en verdad te pasas de verga. We're literally almost done with season 1 y todavía no captas? No mames, BB. Noche de Pendejadas is a weekly show that airs every Wednesday at 7 p.m. PST here on my IGTV where I go ahead and bring your favorite influencers to chismear, have some cocktails and see what the fuck they've been up to. With season one coming close to an end, make sure to go ahead and tag your favorite influencers down below. Ahorita pendeja, apúrale que no tengo todo el pinche día. Así me gusta que hagan lo que yo diga. Last week, you guys saw me chismear with my amigo Jonathan Chavez. And this week, el chisme no se queda atrás. Tonight's guest is the queen of serving looks pal Instagram, CEO, y por primera vez después de tanto escándalo, please welcome my guest tonight, Jenny69. <laughs> La última vez que I saw Miss Jenny 69, no tenías nalgas. When was the last time I saw you? I feel like it's been a while. Actually, the last time we saw each other was the time you ignored me at El Torito. No, I didn't ignore you on purpose. It was funny because I think you had gone to dinner with your hubby. Yes. I had gone to dinner, you guys, with Danny and his family. And I looked like shit. Like, you have to admit that I literally was like in PJs. I mean, you were arreglado. I wasn't arreglado, which is like the daily thing for me. I was literally in PJs, you guys. Jenny was out of glass. Y me acuerdo cuando la miré, she looked at me like this. I was sitting down and then I saw your husband, your husband. Ya me está casando, you guys. I, I, I saw your man walking and I was like, he looks familiar. Yeah. And then I saw you and then I was like, move. And then I was like, Alan, I literally just see him. He goes. It was so funny because I was panicking. I didn't have my contacts in, so I was a little ciego. I just see someone go. Like all excited, I was like, oh my god, it's probably like a fan, and I look like shit. Me estaba dando mucha pena, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, like me voy a hacer como que me escuché. And I look up and I see Jay, and I'm like, oh shit. As soon as I sat down at my table, I texted Annette. Guess who I saw? Texted Annie at the same time too. Which is so funny, you guys. It's been so long, probably like a month that I haven't seen you. Yeah, a little bit. And today, you guys, la traje a noche de pendejadas to chismear porque you guys know if you guys follow Jenny, there's been a a lot going on in your life. A lot. And today, you guys, por primera vez en exclusivo, I brought her today para preguntarle todas las preguntas que yo sé que ustedes, pinches viejas verduleras, se han estado muriendo for her to answer. Are you nervous? Do you feel the pressure? A little bit. Do you kind of have an idea what I'm going to ask? A little bit, but I'm ready for it. For those of you guys that don't know who Jenny69 is, I'm going to switch it to you. But que les des un brief, chiquito, eh? Porque nomás tenemos 15 minutos of who you are, what you do, and who Jenny69 is. Right. <coughs> I guess I'm a little bit of everything. I make YouTube videos. I also own a business, so very entrepreneur vibe. And I'm on Instagram all the time. I'm so excited to have her here porque yo sé que ustedes, you guys, los miraban los pinches comentarios. Bring Jenny69, bring Jenny69. Y aquí la traje, you guys. Prepárense, porque el día de hoy les tenemos un chingo de chisme. Ya sé, ya sé, ya sé, pendejas. Yo sé que ustedes nomás vinieron al chisme. And we're gonna jump straight into it. Pero antes de que empecemos a chismear, we're gonna go ahead and take a little cocktail. Para que la lengua se les suelte, you guys. It is time for chisme and cocktail. Uh, miren lo que tenemos aquí, you guys. Wow, miren. Oh my God, how did you know I love modelos? I did some research. Uh, Mara, like I just asked you last <laughs> night, what do you want to drink? I got a tall can of modelo for Jenny. And I'm not really a beer person, you guys. I feel like beer makes me feel fatter than lo que ya estoy. So I'm gonna have a truly, miren, admiren, que bonita. Little ASMR. I bought you some hot Cheetos. <laughs> They're for you, but can I get one? Mmm, you guys. They're so good, huh? They're really good. Doesn't taste good without any more. Oh, this is so fucking good, you guys. We know who the bottom is. Ah, this is You'd be surprised. Ay, verga, salió volando el pinchicheto. Se mató. You recently got a BBL. 
I did. As you posted the picture in the hospital bed, captioning it hashtag BBL, la gente explotó, you guys. No faltó la pinche vieja pioja, calling you fake, calling you plastic. First of all, how are you doing? How's your recovery? What do you have to say para todas las pinches viejas que siempre tienen algo en que criticarte whenever you get something done to your body? Publicizing your life and talking about like different parts of your life and everything that you're going to get done and things like that. Regardless, people are always going to talk about mm -hmm. you. I just would hate to, to not be open about my Stop. BBL. I don't want them to look mm -hmm. at my pictures and be like, oh, like she's lucky. Like she's just born like that. <laughs> she's like, no, bitch, I had to pay for it. No, it costó mucho. Yes, I'd rather be open about it because I want other girls to no, it's um, okay. know that it's okay. Like there's nothing wrong mm -hmm. with getting something done. Si no lo hubiera publicado, todavía no faltara la pinche vieja pioja que hiciera. Oh my God, why is she not being open about it? I didn't find out you were getting a BBL until the day you post. And I feel like it was like that for a lot of people. You have been mentioning it like, oh, we had on BBL, we had on BBL, but you never really was like, I'm gonna get it. I feel like the reason why it took me a long time was because I actually struggle with an eating disorder. Mm -hmm. Gaining weight was something that was really hard for me mm -hmm. to do. So it was, it's something that I deal with like in my personal life that I never really talk, talk about. about. Our lives are not full fully, fully out. Mm -hmm. like, I just show you guys like a little bit because then once you put it out you're not living it alone Exactly. La gente lo está viviendo contigo. So how's the whole recovery going? Like, te duele? Um, is it uncomfortable? I feel like right now my stomach is just so numb. Mood, where are you? <laughs> For some reason, you guys, I wish you said her stomach's numb. I imagine you like punching it to like prove it. <laughs> I'm like, a ver, déjame ver. <laughs> but nothing is painful anymore. I stopped taking my pain meds. I kid you not, like two or three days after my. I surgery. feel like your recovery though. Was I feel fast, like right? yes. I feel like everyone was like, okay, she went into surgery. Y al próximo día ya andabas bailando. I feel like it was painful, but I just really wanted a body and I wanted waist and I wanted nalga so bad that I felt like it was worth it. If you have been living under a rock, obviamente no se dieron cuenta, pero hace unos meses estabas en el ojo del huracán over a video you had posted. Moments after that video went live, you guys, you started trending for all the wrong reasons. ¿Qué estaba pasando through your head as everything was going down on social media? Um, well, originally when I posted the video, I didn't think that it was gonna go viral. And, and I don't normally post Manny all the time. So I feel like since I don't really post him all the time, people are just kind of like, oh, we want to see how she is as a mom. Mm -hmm. or you know, I remember going on Twitter and seeing Jenny69 trending. I was like, oh my God, what's going on? I feel like people were already mad. And then the cherry on top was people kind of judging your parenting skills how do you feel about that i i don't feel like i struggle with it now anymore because i feel like the situation like kind of helped me grow as a person mm -hmm. it made me feel which much is good stronger, which is good right i do struggle with anxiety and depression like mm -hmm. depression and since manny was diagnosed with his autism like people don't know the behind the scenes of like mm -hmm. how sad it is you know and i feel like just because i have followers and i have a brand and you know a youtube channel like i am a human and i'm not perfect people expect you to be the perfect mom i feel like realistically it's kind of hard you know i feel like people only see social media jenny they don't see jenny the mom so after the video went viral i feel like after a few days of dealing with being cyber bullied on the internet when it comes to people giving an opinion on how you are as a mother mm -hmm. you start to feel some type of way yes you mm -hmm. feel sad like you feel ashamed you start to believe what people are saying about it's hard you not to you know because yeah. sometimes you have those doubts mm -hmm. and sometimes you feel insecure you know and then people start commenting on that insecurity you kind of start believing it but like maybe you feel like not all the time you're the perfect mom right. but when people start questioning your motherhood it gets you to think like damn am i really that fucked up of a mom like it's hard to be the perfect mom eventually like i came to terms with myself and i just owned up to some of the things that were said in the video everybody isn't perfect so if everybody had a camera mm -hmm. in their cars and they got to see exactly. like how people really are as parents and we're not perfect and it's hard mm -hmm. being a mom especially owning a business still i feel alive. like you have so much going on exactly that it's hard to try to be the best at everything it was just so crazy to see like a lot of people getting canceled online and then to actually go through it it's definitely it's very different hard. so i feel like when your favorite influencers are going through stuff that's when the supporters need to come up in the mix and mm -hmm. support you and just message them I feel like it brought me close to my family it brought me close to uh, my your close audience friends, my audience my true my true true followers i feel like you also learned to 
speak when it's needed and own up to your that faults is, mm -hmm. and own up to it and, and being responsible and apologizing mm -hmm. and just clearing up the air i feel like that's definitely what i've learned for sure after going through that i'm so happy that after everything that was going on you were able to like learn something from it so i really do see your growth i feel like you've been posting more about you know life situations that have been going on in the world i've been seeing it i feel like the people have seen it as far as you being a mom i feel like that little situation helped you grow as a mom as well it did definitely i feel like it did bring me closer to my son because dude i mean come on like i love my son i love being a mom even though at times it is hard mm -hmm. but i am understand that having a platform is a responsibility and i should be careful with what i upload on the internet because mm -hmm. sometimes it can be misinterpreted Interpreted. because it's only a few seconds of your yes. life so they're like jenny looks annoyed jenny looks mad she's a bad mom and i feel like at the end of the day you guys as long as she is content you know she loves her child like she loves the people around her i feel like at the end of the day sometimes you know that's all that matters yeah que vieron eso a very touchy subject for jenny i feel like this question i've seen a a lot you know i watch some drama channels this always gets brought up a lot why she never shows her husband a lot of people are concerned thinking he's like a narco what do you have to say about that like is your hubby a narco <laughs> cut the cameras cut the cameras what do you feel about that cheese man? Do you like sometimes laugh at it? Like he he. I think it's funny and I think it's normal because I I'm such a chismosa too. Like <laughs> if I were to see a Latina like you know like buchona and stuff like that, I'll be like, dude, for sure her man. <laughs> it's just that Manuel wanted to be private for a mm -hmm. while, but I still wanted to like post pictures of him. You know, like babe, come on, post for Instagram. <laughs> he's always been like very behind the scenes, mm -hmm. but no, he's not. So he's like, not a narco, you guys. Aquí lo está aclarando Jenny. Um, and we work really hard for our money. That's yes, hora de entretenernos, you guys. I know you guys love the chisme, pero también andar de pinche vieja chismosa cansa, ¿no? Y hay tres pelotas. Each one of these numbers correspond to a ball. Spin, spin. A ver qué bola le va a tocar. Number nine. Que lo destape. Cinnamon challenge. Are you scared? I am terrified. You look scared I'm as fuck, you guys. So basically, aquí tenemos our producto. What if oh I stop breathing or something? Just say that you're willingly doing this yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, do you want to do this? Yes. Okay. Yeah, me quita yo el problema ya. How I'm much scared. is like a lot? Yours uh, has less. A ver, no, mira. Más. No! <laughs> Don't be shy. Refill yours too. Oh my god, you guys. Bitch! <laughs> One, two, three. Bitch. It felt like I was in a desert or something. <laughs> like literally that felt so nasty. What's next for Jenny69? What have you been working on? I know you have a whole lash brand. Well, we definitely have a lot of new things coming soon for Batty B. And uh, we just recently launched a fan. Which I love. Also some new stuff for Jenny69. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting for my merch to come back. So that's going to be coming back very soon. And you know, we're just always working on Batty B. We have a bunch of new lash styles coming very soon. Because you guys can always check out her lash brand at Batty B Lashes. Dot com. That is it for today's episode. Espero que les haya gustado muchísimo. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for I know me. we touched a lot of subjects that you may have not been super comfortable with, but I really do appreciate, you know, giving us that insight look at everything behind the scenes that was going on with you. Next week is the season finale of Noche de Pendejadas. Ya se pendeja. It's all coming to an end. Don't forget to tag your favorite influencers so we can go ahead and get them here for the season finale with that being said you guys don't forget to follow jenny on all her social medias which are don't forget to follow me on my social medias as well and with that being said you guys we'll see you next week on the season finale of noche de pendejadas bye guys